The heart of the old school D&D renaissance is not Twitter or YouTube, 4chan, or even the classic forums. The heart of the OSR is the blogs. Most of the big settings, adventures, and rule sets out there got their start as a piece of homebrew on someone's blog. Most of the theories and the core DM advice that gets passed around today started out as conversations in someone's blog comment box, or as a series of posts between several blogs replying back and forth to each other and developing a line of thought. This is still true today, but the OSR has fractured it to the four winds, and it's harder than ever to keep track of what's going on behind the scenes. What are the most interesting settings under construction? What are the new advancements that are being made to help DMs run old school games? Unless you have a feed reader that's tracking literally hundreds of blogs, it's awfully difficult to tell. That's one of the reasons why I created my free monthly newsletter, The Gladisant. Throughout the month, I trawl through the blogs as well as YouTube, podcasts, and really anywhere where the OSR hangs out, and I try to curate it down to what I think is the most interesting and break it down by category. I even do occasional giveaways to newsletter subscribers. For example, this week I'm giving away $100 worth of OSR books to one randomly selected subscriber. If you're already subscribed, then you're good to go. But if not, all you have to do is put in your email using the link in the description below and you'll be all set. The winner will be picked one week from now and will receive four OSR books. First of all, we have Knock issue number two. I actually have two copies of this, so I figure I would share the wealth and give one away. This one is actually still new in the shrink wrap. If you haven't already seen my review of it, it's an incredibly gorgeous compilation of some of the best OSR blog posts, fully illustrated and with beautiful layout. Next, I'm giving away Warlock Kingdom. This is a supplement to the Warlock RPG, but it's a pretty system neutral deal and it should be pretty helpful if you're developing any kind of Warhammer-esque empire or a corrupted medieval city for your players to crawl through. Third is Tiny Dungeon. This is a tight, highly streamlined rule set for running fantasy RPGs. It's got a very clever and intuitive dice pool system using D6s, and it's a favorite of people who don't like a lot of rules clutter between them and the game world. Most of the book is actually made up of a monster manual and a whole bunch of micro settings that you can play in. The last book in the giveaway package is going to be Abilities Considered Unnatural, which is a new adventure for Mothership written by Joel Hines and Danny Liebster. Uh, Joel was the mind behind the adventure Desert Moon of Karth, which was one of my most well-received Mothership adventures that I have reviewed. So a week from now, I'll use a random number generator to randomly select one email from the newsletter's email list. I'll email that person directly and ask them for their address and get those books shipped directly out to them, no matter where they live. I'm probably going to regret that, but that's what I'm going to do. And even if you don't win, you'll still get an awesome monthly roundup of the coolest stuff happening in the OSR scene. These newsletters are packed. Uh, they've got world building, new rules, history, theory, reviews, sales, game jams, sometimes free adventures, and tons more. One of the reasons I started the newsletter was to make sure that the blogosphere didn't die. That all of that insane creativity and hard work that all these DMs put in got seen and got used by as many people as possible. I hope you agree and hope you find it as fun as I do. See you next time and long live the blogs.